Welcome to my world, everyone. This is Like It or Not with Michael Lane, and Michael Lane is who I be. Hey, be sure to check me out on my main page. I don't just talk about politics on there. I talk about a whole wide range of things, as well as maybe have a little snippet or two, a commercial or two about my radio show. That's youtube.com slash like it or not Mike. Now, this is a, it's a political message, but it's more local. Because in the state of Illinois, we are in a bad state. Literally in a bad state. Our unemployment is the second highest in the nation. In the city of Chicago, our, I would say our credit and our money and everything, everything that's going on with our struggles and uh, fiscally is second worst to Detroit. We have a horrible mayor. And we have the worst governor of all time in Pat Quinn. Now, our mayor, of course, is Rahm Emanuel. We have been, I don't know, I, I, I don't even know the word, but we have been, I would say, infested with liberalism for so long, and we still don't get it. We are dying as a state. We are dying. It's not just in Chicago. It's, in, it's the entire state. We are dying. Now, here in this governor's race coming up, we have, of course, the worst governor of all time, Pat Quinn, whose only accomplishment in, that he can speak of to him in his credit, in his world, is him allowing gays to marry. Ask him anything else. He can't tell you. In other words, he hasn't done anything. To help Illinois. Nothing but raise taxes. And he wants to raise taxes even more. And on the other hand. with we On the other side. On the Republican side. We have Bruce Rauner. Who I believe. Is a rhino. That's what I believe. I may be wrong. And I hope I am wrong. But he looks like a rhino. He always troubled. The trouble that I had with him. That he was friends with Rahm Emanuel. That's a red flag with me. That's a big red flag. They are good friends. Now I'm not saying Republicans shouldn't be friends with Democrats or anything. I'm not I'm not saying suggesting that. But we know how rhinos are. They can stand together in friendship. But sometimes they stand together in friendship and stand together politically. But Bruce Rauner, around, uh, Bruce Rauner he ended up winning uh, uh, the primary elections. And now it's time to talk about the general election. I beg and plead with you all, Illinois. This is my plea. We have to stand up. We have to fight and we have to be counted. Yes, Bruce Rauner may not be the best choice, but he's the best choice we have now. We got to get this bald head goofball named Governor Pat Quinn. We got to get him the hell out of here. I beg of you all, try. If you don't have brains, act like you have it. Pretend that you have brains and get this governor the hell out. All he is doing is fronting on TV, making moves here, making moves there that don't mean nothing. He hasn't done anything, and he will continue to do nothing. We haven't learned from Harold Washington. Harold Washington called out this goofball, and we still don't listen. Harold Washington has exposed a lot of these Democrats for the crooks and racists that they are. And we didn't. And what do we do? We elect them to be governor, we elect them, uh, and we continue to elect them uh, in their uh, respective offices. I beg of you, stand up, Illinois. Bruce Rauner must win. 
We have to get this albatross out. Pat Quinn got to go. Get the hell out. I beg of you, Illinois. Let's get some brains now. We know liberalism has not worked. Illinois is on its knees. And I beg of you. I beg of you. We can do this. Hopefully we can be the start. We can be the example of what it is to turn things around by getting rid of liberalism. We need to get the hell first. And then we got to get the hell, um, Rahm Emanuel, the hell out of here. But liberalism has not worked. We've been doing this for 40, 50 years. And we're getting worse and worse and worse. Stand up, Illinois. Stand up. I'm for you, Bruce Rauner. But you better not screw it up. Stand up, Illinois. Like it or not.